Now that there are signs that high rent prices may be starting to ease. In some cities, rents are dropping. In others, you still may be able to negotiate a better deal. Brian Chang shares the shift some renters are seeing. When Kelsey Barbario decided it was time to move out of her Manhattan rental apartment, she felt a shift. I would definitely say the market's softening. A shift that could benefit her. I've had brokers hounding me for different apartments. Like they, you know, the texts I was getting, they really wanted to fill those spots. Rents nationwide have skyrocketed over the last year. But now, signs that prospective renters are starting to gain the upper hand. I think there are a lot of nicer buildings out there that can give me a lot more for my money. Here in Manhattan, prices remain substantially higher than they were a year ago, but signs of relief as rents saw the largest monthly drop since the pandemic started. And in other corners of the country, rental rates are not just slowing, they're falling. Cities seeing sharp declines include Minneapolis, Oklahoma City, Phoenix, and Houston. In Texas, Adrian Wells upgraded from a two-bedroom apartment to a four-bedroom house for just a little extra. I'm seeing it across the whole uh, city of San Antonio. Is going down or they're staying at a certain level, but they're not going up. Government data does show the nationwide cost of rent rising 8.3% over the course of 2022. But experts believe that pace will slow and renters should take advantage. It's a good idea to ask for either a lower rent or some kind of concession. Housing expert Daryl Fairweather says renters should try to negotiate breaks like a free month or two or even discounts on parking or pet fees. And when looking at rental documents, ask about future rent increases and see if leases longer than one year will come with favorable rates. Barbario has already signed a new lease elsewhere in her neighborhood. So you excited to, to move out? I am so excited. I think it's going to be really nice for me. I think it's a much needed change and I'm just really happy about it. A silver lining after what has been a rough year for renters. Brian Chung, NBC News, New York.